What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 67 and 68. I am very, very excited. The first one is called Final Tip Off. We are finally getting started with what I assume to be the final big match because I think we have another one in the movie. I don't fucking know. But just know if you guys want early access up to four episodes ahead or the full uncut, unedited versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always, for you guys. Make sure you guys check out the social medias Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into it. Kuroko no Basket, episode 67, final tip off. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Starting off with a haircut. Based off the color, I assume it has to be Rico's. Yep. It is a nice little perfect cut. Love to see it. Vibes are ruined. And this is actually his dad's barber shop. That's cool. I don't know. Uh, Junpei's dad was a barber. New opening? Okay. After the Taiko backstory? Is this Izuki's family or is this Mitobe? No, Mitobe had like 16 siblings, right? We got every one of our loved ones, friends, and family giving us the supportive talks we need. Very true, very true. Very much still essential. I like that. He's a part of something bigger now. I do like that. So this is, uh, this is Kogane's older sister talking about mom. That's, that's awesome. I always fuck with Kogane. Now we just rather win together. Hell yeah. Shouts out older sis. This gives me Haikyuu vibes because there's a lot of games where Haikyuu, a lot of the friends and family extended would come and you know it would really get you like in those emotional vibes. And as you can tell, I'm already feeling it. Start to tear up. Goddamn Mitobe, Kogane, Izuki, Junpei, everyone's family. Shit's going too crazy. Ooh, Himuro. Shouts out to both of them. Being apologetic, trying to move forward. Let's play again, brothers. Let's do this. That's all he wanted to hear. Oh, with the necklace back on. Come on. With the music playing, come on. Let me see you become the Let me see you become the number one player. Oh, I can't wait. I remember like in episode like five when we said that we would make <laughs> Kagami the number one player in Japan. Oh. Uh, talk about, I was literally just thinking about this. Come on. The fucking throwback to all the great moments we had. Come on. This shit really is trying to hit me in my feels. No bullshit. We had so many great moments that have built up for 70 episodes and we're here. Woo. God damn. Me too, me too, Kuroko. God damn it. Woo, woo, woo. With the fucking wristbands and everything too. I gotta blow my nose. Give me a second, guys. God damn it. All right. We should be fresh, clear, ready to watch the final tip off. Uh-oh. We got more fucking Toho. Is it going to snow later? It's snowing right here, literally right now, so I'm loving this. Lol. I love seeing the third years, too, Ima Yoshi and the rest of them. It actually didn't hit me that they retired, you know? And we got fucking Yosin. Come on. Come on. Come on. The Metropolitan Gymnasium. We got everyone... Every single player that we've gone against so far, whether it's the tall, whether it's the off, the karate, everything, 
Every single team we've gone against so far is coming. We even got Rico's dad. Chill out. Come on, man. Stop getting me emotional for this final match. Let me just play the goddamn game. We got Izuki's family, Kogane's sister. Yes, you guys got three of the like old five uncrowned kings, right? I can't not hear Poof when I hear him talk now. <laughs> I love Poof so much. He was the one with like the super loud dribble, right? Yes, they do, but I don't know about today. I don't know about today, my friend. Today might be the exception. Then show me your basketball. God damn. Kuroko, no basket. I'll be showing you our basketball. Come on. You literally can't be more fire than that. I accept your challenge with his squad on the background too. Come on, man. Come on. Kaijo lost, sadly. Chuchoku got third. I'm just glad we were all able to make top four. Whether it's uh, all GOMs, you know? We're just the opening act today. I hate to say it, but you're right. I'll let the stars stand in the spotlight. Hey, I appreciate that, Kisei. Especially one who doesn't like to give up that spotlight so easily, you know? Just like how uh, Ogiwara passed on his spirits and hopes through yours, they want to do the same as, as well, you know? Ogiwara's and Saverian spirits, hopes, and dreams. Let's do it. Kuroko, Tetsuwa, the Phantom, six man. Look how badass he looks. Kagami Taiga, one of the goats. Yoshi Tepe, Iron and Heart, the goat. Eagle Eye himself, come on. Gotta appreciate the fam bam coming. Sakurai, chill out. <laughs> the Winter Cup Final between Seirin High and Rakuzan High will now begin. The title of this episode, Final Tip-Off, is starting. Whoa, Kagami instead of Kiyoshi for the tip-off? Chill out! This shit is so badass. All the players and just their... And just uh, Akashi's eyes. I'm about to sneeze. Oh my god. Bad timing. <coughs> oh, great, great get. Oh, good save, even though we didn't get to fully execute. Also, good tip for Tad, good defense on us. Got nothing else on your mind, wanted to clear your head, so you're just going to jump. The Meteor Slam? Are these jumping from the three-point line? Am I not, or is it the free throw line? Either way. With the animation too, we got the first point with starting out with a meteor jam. God damn. He's in the zone. Don't tell me we're already starting. Don't tell me we're starting. Don't tell me we're starting. Me we're starting. <laughs> Every time they played this song, you know. The will to fight for his friends. I love that that's his entering condition. You're gonna see the lightning. He's gonna turn around. You're gonna see like a lightning bolt around his eyes. So fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. I tell you. I tell you. Talk about a start. Come on, man. Come on, bro. All right. On to episode 68. This one is called Isn't It the Best? That is just not fair. Even though I'm glad he's on our team and he's amazing, that's just not fair. That is a very valid point. 
On empty before halftime. That is not good. Yeah, they want to stop him from uh, using too much. Oh. Okay. We don't need Kuroko right now for offense. Have Mitobe Kiyoshi focus on defense. And then when Kagami's a little lower on stamina, we'll throw Kuroko out there to do it, you know. <laughs> I know. I know you were, buddy. I know, buddy. 2-11. to 11. It's a great starting score so far. Kagami Taiga. The zone versus Emperor. I. As he cracks. But he breaks through the cracking? What? And he missed. I wonder why. So, henceforth, henceforth messing up his angle. Interesting. It's a game of chess. This game, this man's crazy. That's a good point. Kind of like Mirio. When you say it like that in My Hero, his quirk in and of itself is not the strongest. Very complicated, not insane. But it's how you use it. It's that creativity, you know. He is most definitely losing focus. That was a good screen. There goes your ankles. Oh, Eagle Spear. He still is able to save it with a pass. Yeah, and we don't want Kagami getting out of the zone. Yep. That was a clean under layup. That really was. Okay, great block, Mitobe. This is why we need you. Thank you, my man. And look at his fucking 10 ass siblings. I love them. See, now those lingering questions and doubts are going to hang in your mind. Can't be thinking about them anymore. Have faith from your teammates. You can do it, man. A man of little words. That's all you needed. No, yeah, come on. Everyone knows what he is. Thank you, Kogane. Appreciate you. And he's back into the zone. Focus, my boy. Yes. Okay, good. He'll leave the zone. Go back to his normal playing. Didn't empty out his reserves completely. Yes, to be honest, when you think about it. Now we're subbing Kuroko back out. Appreciate you, Mitobe. That was a mean ripper. Is his misdirection not working because of how much of a fan favorite he is between the crowd and people right now? Or... <laughs> no, we gotta go over that. Who feel wild like Taiga, and he's one of them. The music that is playing right now. 
Ooh, the explosive jump off. Same with him. But immediate pass. Kuroko was immediately behind him with the can assist off that. Immediately pass all of them to my boy Junpei. Great pass. Ah. That was a good save from Rakuzan. Leo tipped it. The way they animated that with the lightning, how fast it was, and how loud the lightning dribble. They're stealing his passes, marking him efficiently. He's not misdirecting. Like, something is going on with Kuroko right now. Interesting. That was his bread and butter. That was his go-to. When you learn to shine dimly, you cease being a shadow. With the way he's backlit right now and his face is shadowed. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. We're not letting my man talk shit like this. We really didn't notice till now, sadly, but... Yep, and they're they're noticing him, so marking him, but this is what we want. Let them destroy you. Ooh, into the... Oh, uh, and they're able to block it, too. That's so crazy. Good block by Kagami. They were able to save and finish it, and now they're officially up. Talk about some tough love. I know. It's like, you were a complete dog doodoo McAss cheek, so we still did fine. We're tied. Hell yeah. Don't lose hope, my man. That's what I like to see. Keep that confidence. We know you'll make something work. Oh, yeah. And they're showing him, uh, Mayazumi, who they were just, who we, Seirin, were just underestimating, so we'll see what he can do now. Are all ranks C? No way. Because Akashi was able to figure out It's because Akashi was able to figure out Some latent ability or talent that he had His name is Kuroko No, it's gonna be And he's gone He's a white flash And he's Kuroko The vanishing the the just dis disappearing into a crazy past that he wasn't yeah he's Kuroko. Of course they are. Tetsuya is the old model. Is the new Phantom Six man. Even has that resting emotionless stoic face that Kuroko always does. God, damn it, man. We started the match. I'm very excited. I'm loving this so far. It is quite the challenge and it's going to be quite the uphill battle like I was expecting. But I, I'm loving everything from all of our family and friends, all of our past people we've gone against, GOMs, Himuro, Hanamiya, fucking Papa. Uh, is it Obaye? I forget his name because it was in my old notebook. I don't even have it here anymore. But everyone is here. Literally everyone. And I'm just like, I love this so much. This really does feel like the culmination and the buildup of the entire show. If you guys just heard that, I apologize. But I just wish, I'm hoping everything goes okay. They have their own new Phantom Sixth Man, of course. I'm sure we're going to have to get through a lot of stuff we're going to have to deal with. Not only are we have to deal with him, we're going to have to deal with uh, the other guy who was trying to purposefully call out uh, Kagami, saying, um, you know, who Alex said is just as wild like Kagami. So I'm super excited, but also nervous. That was some crazy plays. What is this, episode 68? We got 
nine and then six, we got like six more episodes of just pure awesomeness that we're gonna watch and i am ready for it hopefully you guys are enjoying this if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel um other than that check out that patreon all that jazz don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out